Today is the one year anniversary of Lethal Company's release. In celebration of such, Zeker's provided us with a small little fun update to remind us that he does still truly care about the game. Let's get to what was added. First off, party hats. Everyone gets to celebrate, even in the afterlife. On top of this, as a reference to the extremely early beta versions of Lethal Company, the suits are brown instead of orange. Reminds us of what Lethal Company was going to be originally. Next, there's an 8% chance of an infestation of hoarding bugs. Almost all of the enemies that will spawn on a day will be hoarding bugs. I specify almost all because it isn't guaranteed that every spawn will be a hoarding bug, at least in my experience. Third up, we have the store. Its sales are extremely frequent and they reroll just as often as they happen. You can go up and down on the company infinitely to essentially guarantee a sale for an item of your choice without needing to waste hours on it. Now, all of the three changes that were just mentioned are temporary. Take this with a grain of salt though because Zeekers may just forget to remove them to be honest. Last big mention change is a new luck system. You can apparently increase your luck by purchasing and keeping more furniture on your ship. As confirmed by the community, this increase in luck causes your quota rolls to be lower. This change is confirmed to be permanent. This is a pretty big deal because it means that high quota players might find a new way to manipulate this luck and use it for a new highest quota. Though there are also a few changes that were not mentioned within the patch notes, at least from what I have noticed. First off is the jingle for the elevator. The jingle for the elevator is different and it sounds more like a Halloween type beat. Another thing I've noticed is that a lot of the AI have been misbehaving, and overall I think Zeekers made a couple tweaks silently in order to counter a couple cheese methods that still existed for enemies. I won't say to take my word on it, but definitely I noticed some differences that were not mentioned. That is about it for this anniversary. Even if it's not a lot, it's a good reminder that Zeekers still cares for his game. And I, like many others, were getting worried that Zeekers was going to leave the game behind, but this gives us a bit of more hope. It's late and I'm tired. I should head to bed. Also, I have another video in the works about a game that may just compete with Lethal Company. So if you aren't, then subscribe to catch when that happens. Good luck out there and happy anniversary. Get that quota.